Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another monthly haul here. This is going to be for the month of January. I actually went a little more heavy than I usually do on like supplies rather than specifically nail polish, but I do have, I still have a lot of nail polish here for you guys. So no worries there. So before we get into the haul, I have a couple like really quick just announcements. Number one, I do now have a code with Moxie Nail Varnish. If you guys remember, I did review them when they were first starting here on my channel and I will link them up in the cards. I really enjoy working with this brand. I have swatched for them a couple times and just a really cool inclusive message. So if you wanna check them out, I will have them linked down below. My code MEDIOCRE, which I will put on the screen and in my description box, will save you 10% off at checkout. And they are coming out with a lot of really cool stuff and they are really expanding their finish uh, catalog because before they had quite a lot of creams and a few different finishes, but now it seems like they are really ramping up in the fun finishes department, which you know is my favorite. So go check them out. And I do always put all of my affiliate codes and things like that down in the description box. Anything that is affiliate links, I will put an asterisk next to so that you guys are aware that those are affiliates and I do get a little bit of kickback from those. Okay, and the second thing before I get into the haul, it is only just now that when I am looking into my monitor, I can see that my face and my neck are two different colors. So let me just say this foundation used to match me. I don't know what happened. I think I haven't gone outside in like a year or so. So yeah, I am going to scoot over and then we will have some space for pictures and things like that. So the first thing I did was I placed a Cirque order. And the reason I did is because they released a brand new Do Good polish. This is called Firecracker. And what they do at Cirque is every so often they release these polishes that are basically for a specific cause. All the net proceeds from that polish go to the cause that they select and I thought that that was a really nice thing to do. I think it's really cool. And this one specifically did speak to me. Like I said, this is called Firecracker. This is a red magnetic and all of the net proceeds go to a uh, organization called Welcome to Chinatown, which I'm going to link down in the description for you guys. The website was really thorough and informative. I did spend a lot of time over there just reading about their causes. They have something called uh, the Longevity Fund and what that does is businesses in the Manhattan Chinatown can apply for grants and get some help with their businesses, which is really essential, especially right now. And then there's something else called the Seek Fun Fund, which it helps to provide fresh food and it seems like meals, I believe, to people in the Manhattan Chinatown area. And then again, you know, that is really important, especially right now. I like this polish a lot, not only because I thought it was just a really fun color, it's perfect for the Lunar New Year coming up, but also just the cause is very important to me because when my boyfriend's family first came to this country, they spent a great deal of time in the Manhattan Chinatown. He, My boyfriend grew up going to many of the businesses there. Some of them are still around. Some of them he has taken me to, like restaurants and things like that. and that Chinatown it is getting smaller and smaller by the day and as we know especially in recent times hate crimes against Asians and Asian Americans have really skyrocketed in this country and in a lot of other Western countries as well and I just think that any little thing we can do it helps and so yeah I mean I got a nail polish out of it so that is nice but I really do like the cause it introduced me to a new introduced me to a new cause and they do have a store on their website as well that people from different shops in the Chinatown sell some of their goods and all of the profits go to that specific store welcome to Chinatown from what I read doesn't take anything so I recommend checking it out I thought it was really cool um so I did pick that up sorry for that long-winded explanation I also decided that I wanted to hit the free shipping threshold so I picked up I'm gonna say this totally wrong but this is savory savor it I don't it, it I want it to rhyme with favorite but I don't think it does but I think this is like a gemstone of some sort okay I remembered that I have access to Google and I was wrong on all accounts savor it, savor it. It's called Savorit. 
Who would have known? But yeah, so <laughs> Savorit, and this is a really, it looks like AstroTurf, like when you go to an indoor like soccer field or something like that, that's kind of what it looks like on the nails. And you know, I love wearing grass on my nails, so I had to have that one. And I will say, I've worn all three of these Cirque polishes uh, in the month of January, so doing good so far. And this one, it is called, I believe the have you pronounce it XX, but it, it's the Roman numeral 20. And this is a glitter topper and it has over 20 different types of glitter in it. And it's crazy. There's like hex glitters, there's like diamond cut, there's little squares it looks like. And there's all sorts of different colors. There's even some like micro glitter in here. A lot of fun. It reminds me a little bit of a disco ball. And it had been on my list for a while and I just was like, you know what? in stock just put it in the cart and I got free shipping the next thing I got were some stickers and water slide decals now these were a gift polish with Ray sent me these and these are from a brand called ribbit stickets I have seen them before because I really liked the logo and so like that drew my attention initially but I've never actually purchased from them I believe I saw that they're gonna be at the polish and beauty expo I think um, but I've never, like I said, I've never shopped with them, but these are really cute. We have one that has like a bunch of the little characters from Animal Crossing. We have one that has just a bunch of like items and things. And then a third one that has like a bunch of little sayings, some logos, just like a whole bunch of stuff. And then the stickers are like, like if you've ever played the game, when you set an item down on the ground, this is what it looks like. And this one says, I'd rather be playing Animal Crossing. I want to try to figure out how to cut these out and put them on my Helmer magnet thing that I do, but I haven't done that yet because I wanted to show you guys first. And I'm so excited to do a little Animal Crossing manicure. I've used water slide decals a couple times. They are so easy to use and like you get these perfect intricate little designs. Super easy, like anybody can do it. All you do is cut out the little design, put it in water, and it will separate from the backing just like a temporary tattoo. And then you pick it up and you put it on your nail and let that kind of dry down and then you can top coat it. Now after that, I did place my polish pickup order. That, it marked as shipped on the 25th of January, but it just says like carrier received. It doesn't say that it's moved at all. Today is the 31st, this is going up tomorrow, so. I don't have them yet, so, and I also don't know if I'm gonna have pictures to show you because usually I just preemptively pull some from the uh, Polish Pickup website just in case they don't arrive on time. Just didn't do it this time, and so now I don't have pictures, so we'll see what happens. But I did pick up three. I picked up Indie by Patty Lopes. It's called Purple Beauty, and if I remember correctly, that one was a, like, multi-chrome, and then I picked up Fair Maiden Tahin Queen and that one was more like a kind of mac and cheesy color and it had glitter running through it and I said I want more fun oranges so that was the big reason I picked that one out and then I picked up by Danny Vienna Cinnabon Sugar and that one was because you know right now it seems like those super reflective polishes are super popular a lot of brands seem to be releasing them I never owned anything like that and I figured well let me give it a shot and like the pictures of these under flash I know it's not fake I know nobody is faking these photos but when you look at the picture it's like my first reaction is this is fake this is not real and so I have to just have one in my hands and paint it and put the flash on it myself so that I can see it and just know that it's real um but also I feel like a lot of people talk about either they really love them when they're not under flash or they think that it's kind of a worthless gimmick and you're just getting a glitter polish. So I wanted to get just one to start and see how I feel about that finish and see if I really like it and if it's worth it for me personally to get more for my own tastes. So I figure why not start with that one because it's got like brown and um, silver, I think, glitters running through it, just like cinnamon sugar would, and I thought that was kind of just a cute little twist. After that, I decided to finally 
pick up another black stamping polish and I placed a maniology order because a few months ago I ran out of black stamping polish and I was just like it's fine I don't I don't need it I, I do need it everybody needs black stamping polish and um I decided because I'm doing or I'm trying to do more nail art this year I'm gonna need a black stamping polish to carry me through so I picked up straight up black from maniology and then because these are um, like six bucks or something like that, I didn't, I, I was going to have to pay shipping. So I figured I might as well get a couple other things as well, just to make it worth my while. So I ended up grabbing four stamping plates. So I looked into the sale section of the stamping plates because who wants to pay full price for anything? And I got four plates. So the first one I got was $6.97. This is Maniology's M032. This is a Halloween plate. Why did I buy a Halloween plate in January? Well, I'm thinking ahead, okay? It has a bunch of cute full nail designs as well as some itty bitty ones. I really like the full nail designs. I like to do like manicures where I do just full nail, five different designs and maybe like just different base colors. So this will be perfect for that for Halloween. And then we have Shape Nouveau BMXL 505. I really love abstract kind of geometric or otherwise very organic type stuff as well. But I just really like the abstract look on stuff. It seems like a lot of people have been releasing more abstract nail art plates or just doing more abstract nail art, at least from what I'm seeing on my Instagram feed that could just be like confirmation bias. But I really enjoy it. And so I just decided to, I just decided to expand my abstract stamping plate repertoire. And I picked this one up. And then I got Maniology M160. This one was, the last one was $4.99. This one was $3.99. And this one has more like nostalgic type stuff. It's got, um, it has some of that abstract design, but it also has like yin yang. It has um, space alien stuff, a peace sign, smiley face, lots of cute little things that would be perfect for like, if you're going to, I don't know, like a nostalgic party. I know people, in my age group all seem to like to do like back to the 90s stuff and I'm just like I don't I wasn't there for that I was barely there for the 90s I don't know what's going on but that way I can cheat and then the last one I got was special effects BMXL 455 and this one cost I didn't write it down I don't know I, I guess I don't know why did I write down the rest of them but not this one mystery this one is more like artsy kind of abstract so you got like paint strokes and like scribbles and things like that and I think that will be fun especially using like a bunch of different colors to be like paint spatter and stuff like that so just four fun kind of mostly abstract plates and then um Polish with Ray posted a video where she was showing off some stuff that was going to be in January's Little Box of Horrors. Now, I have never heard of the Little Box of Horrors until I saw uh, Polish with Ray's video, and I am saying horror, H-O-R-R-O-R. -R -R. I know that the way that I talk, it does not always sound like that, so I just wanted to be clear. Um, the Little Box of Horrors. Uh, and so, the theme was the X-Files, which I'm obsessed with. And so I was kind of like, dang it. Like, why, why did this have to happen this month? Because I was just trying to be like chill and cut down on my intake so that I can just be more reasonable and also save money for other nail polish in the future. <laughs> so I did go through the whole website and there was a ton of really cool stuff I wanted, but I was like, you can pick two things, Hillary, two things. And these have not yet shipped. Um, because I think the pre-order either like just ended or something. I don't know. It, there was like a pretty like similar to polish pickup. I think you wait like three to four weeks for everything to ship and then um, you'll get it in the next month. So it hasn't shipped yet, but I do have pictures that I pulled from the website. And the first polish, the, I picked one polish and one other item. And the first thing I got was it's by Phoenix and it's called Brand X. And this is not a brand that I'm familiar with. And I had a really hard time narrowing down which polish I wanted because either they were really beautiful or they were from a brand that I've always wanted to try or they were 
like based off of an episode that I really loved. Like there was another one I really wanted. I think I, I think they called it the same thing as the episode. I think it was called Bad Blood and it was based off of like the nobody's gonna understand this. It was based off of the character's eyes though. It, he was like a vampire and they glowed green. It was like such a goofy episode. Um, and so I really wanted that one, especially because I had like just gotten to that episode in my rewatch that I'm going through right now for the millionth time. But yeah, so I picked that Polish Brand X. It is like, it, I think it looks kind of like a flakier type polish, but it is like a duochrome red green flip and it looked really cool. And then the thing that really sucked me in and when I showed my boyfriend, he was like, this is illegal, like how hard they're targeting you. It is a stamping plate by a brand called Apipla or a papilla, I'm not sure. And it is an X-Files stamping plate. And I was just like, oh my God, I need this so bad. So naturally I threw that right in my cart and I checked out and I was like, all right, that's it. That's all you can have because man, I was like two seconds away from buying every single thing just to have it. Okay, and then I picked up some kind of like more nail care or nail stuff type things. And the first thing I got was this, it's called like McCart. And these are fake nails. Um, I broke my pointer finger and it was kind of broken a little bit further down. And the teabag method wasn't holding. I didn't have any of that poorly like repair stuff. And I just thought, what if I just stuck a fake nail over this? No one would notice, right? I mean, it, it was kind of noticeable, but I was just like, it'll be fine. So I put the fake nail on and I used this, I also bought this Beatles nail glue, but it's like a gel nail glue and it, it held the nail on really well. The nails I picked, um, these are in like the coffin shape because I picked some that were like the closest to my current nail shape at that time and they worked really well. Um, but then I ended, as you can see, like I have short nails now, I ended up breaking a second nail when I was getting ready to go to a funeral. And I was just like, you know what? We're done. Like, I was just like, I was too stressed. I was going through a lot. And I was just like, I cannot even bring myself to care. So I just cut all my nails off and I was like, whatever, we'll just start over. I just don't care. So these work really well. They were nice. And this glue worked really well. It is a soak off. So like, be aware, um, it takes a while to soak off like this fake nail with this glue. And, um, but it didn't do any damage to my nail or anything. I know some people are concerned about damage to your nails with gel, but as long as you soak them off properly, I don't think that you're really at risk. You just have to be really diligent about that. So yeah, these were really nice for the like two weeks that I wore them before I just cut them all off. And then of course, uh, I will link it up in the cards. I did post the video reviewing the new Hollow Taco Winter Shimmers collection. This had two creams and three shimmers. I won't go too far in depth because I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen the video. If not, like I said, it'll be in the cards. Um, this box is super glittery. It's definitely pretty fun. I will say, um, you saw the video, I'm sure, but I, it's not my favorite collection. I don't like love it. I'm not like blown away. But if you like shimmers and you don't have many in your collection, you might want to look into this depending on your personal tastes. Okay, here's another thing that hasn't come in yet. I bought this nail polish remover from Target. Somebody actually recommended it to me in on Instagram. And it's one of those things that you, it's like the pot of like, nail polish remover that you like stick your fingers in but they were like no this one's different from probably what you remember when you were a kid because I had said like oh my mom used to have those and I used to love those when I was a kid she was like no this one's different it doesn't have that like gross sponge in it it's got these like rubber like nubbies that will take off glitter in like an instant so I checked it out and I was like oh my gosh this thing is like three bucks and I placed an order for it it has been marked as delivered it never arrived and Target is like, you have to call us to dispute that. And like phone calls are not easy for me. <laughs> like I can't hear them. And so I'm just kind of like, do I just say screw it and buy another one and just be out the three bucks? Or do I designate some time when it's going to be super quiet so that I can make the phone call and 
hopefully hear it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll, we'll figure that out. But I do want it. I do. I think that that'll be really nice because I don't love wearing peel off base coat all the time because sometimes I feel like peeling off the peel off base coat peels up some of my nails. I don't love that. And also it pops off too fast when I'm wearing glitters that I want to wear for extended periods of time. So you know, I think that that will be, if it works as well as I was told, which I'm sure it does, I really want to try it. And then I ordered some of these nail wheels. I have like a mixed feeling about like nail wheels because once I'm done with them, like I don't need them anymore. I don't use them for long term. I use them to like test stuff or show stuff on my videos. Like the reason I ordered these specifically was so that I could show off um, like, and I know I need them for other videos too. That's why I got a bunch, but I wanted to show off the new Holo Taco shimmers over like every single thing in their repertoire. And I just, it's like, now what do I do with these? I, I'm not going to use them for decor. I know some people do, but it's like just throwing them away is also kind of crappy because these are plastic and like not good for the environment. So I don't know. There's probably a good way or a safer way to throw these away, but even that, I'm not so sure I trust that because I've heard that you know, recycled plastic doesn't actually get recycled half the time. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see. And then the last thing that I picked up this month, um, at the risk of doxing myself, I got the Orly color pass. I am going to be posting a video, not this coming Saturday, cause I'm going to post my color club halo ice this weekend, but next weekend you will have my full swatch and review of the Orly color pass. And spoiler alert, this one's way better than the winter one, so look forward to that. So yeah, that is everything I picked up in the month of January. Surprisingly, not as much polish as I would have expected. I guess it doesn't look like as much because like two of the orders or a few of the orders just haven't shown up yet. Um, so maybe I will change my opinion on that in the future. But I will say that I have, out of everything that I have sitting next to me, like I said, I wanted to uh, set a goal to not put anything away until it is at least worn or swatched or something. And I have worn all three of the Cirque polishes so I can put those away. And I, of course, swatched all of the Hollow Taco polishes. You saw that in the video. And uh, this week I will be swatching all the Orly Color Pass ones because I'm doing my live swatch and review. So those will be good. So I can put just about everything away right now. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that is going to be it from me this video. Let me know down below what you guys picked up in January. And if you've got any big plans for February as far as picking stuff up, I'd love to hear from you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.